How's it going, all my tacticians? And welcome back to yet another battle. This time is going to be between me and Ken's. So, Ken's, he told me, don't take him lightly. Take him seriously. Well, he got his wish. I'm just going to say that right now. He got his wish. Impy said, all right, you want me to take you a bit more seriously? So I'm taking you a bit more seriously. This, is what, this was my more seriously competitive team. That what that I ran on the Friday night throwdown. Speaking of which, there will be a Friday night throwdown tonight, so I'll see you all on my Twitch channel if you want to watch it. In any case, let's get this started. I start off with Elizabeth and Azula, my shiny Kumo, and my opponent Ken brings out the Primal Groudon and Darmanitan. So already, shenanigans are abound. Let's get this party started as Groudon goes for the pr desolate land, gonna set up the, the harsh sunlight. No water text to threaten the primal Groudon. Kens withdraws his Darmanitan and sends in this. I I was impressed that he had this on his his bat team. I didn't know he was gonna do something like this. In any case, primal Groudon, I'm gonna go for a drop kicking primal Groudon and I'm gonna set up the dragon dance. Gonna see what damage I can do here. Now I'm gonna set up the dragon dance. Dragon dance is set up. Bulldoze comes out. It does not affect. Is what is a uh, Mantike, I think that's what it's pronounced. But it is gonna affect my Elizabeth and a and Azula. Gonna affect my Serena and my Shiny Como. That's gonna reduce my speed, but I'm still faster than him. Still slightly faster. So this is gonna be the speed test I'm gonna demonstrate. I'm gonna go for yet another Dragon Dance. I'm gonna set up again because he's just given me these Dragon Dances now. And because I'm not exactly afraid of him, I'm going to go for a Trop Kick again into the Primal Groudon. Going to reduce his stats as much as I possibly can. Precipice Blade comes out, connects onto both my Pokemon. But after two attack drops, he's not, you know, very threatening. Azula doesn't like that, though. Azula did not like that, so. I swap out Elizabeth here, not going to like what's going to happen. So now Cynthia is on the field. Groudon is going to protect here. I kind of did not expect he was going to go for the protect. I figured he'd try to attack. Going to go for the drain punch here. Going to connect onto the protect. Not going to do anything. And Haze comes out from the Manti. So there goes all my stats. All the stat changes as well were eliminated. So Groudon is back to base da damage. And I've lost all my, you know, speed boost and my attack boost. Now out comes the Tyranitar. So Tyranitar is on the field. Gonna set up the Sandstream, but neither of my Pokemon actually care about that. In fact, I welcome it because here we go. It's time to dance with the with the Groundinium Z move from Cynthia. So setting up the Tectonic Rage, Cynthia is gonna go into the attack now. Gonna go straight into the Tyranitar. I was not at all intimidated by anything he was gonna throw up. I did not care, and this shows it. Down goes the Tyranitar. That's going to be the end of Tyranitar on the field. That leaves only the Mantic on the field. I'm going to go for yet another Dragon Dance because, hey, if he's going to... If I'm going to do this and I'm going to force him to either keep on using Haze or try to go for the attack. And he goes for the attack. Gives Azula a chance to set up the Haze or set up the Dragon Dance for free, man. Now... Not gonna take any sense or damage thanks to my overcoat ability. And Excadrill is now on the field. So I'm like, uh, okay, so we got some shenanigans going on here. So he's gonna go for the protect. I go for the drain punch. Obviously, it was going into the Excadrill. Gonna miss. Dragon Claw comes out, gonna connect onto the Man Attack, deal some nice damage, but it's able to withstand that. Haze comes out once again. So the haze is now back up. All stat changes are eliminated. I'm like, this is getting me nowhere. I don't like this at all. So I'm going to swap out Azuli here. Going to go into another Pokemon. And out comes Elizabeth once again. So my Serena is back on the field. Helping Hand comes out. Going to deal some nice damage to me after he gets this attack off. Goes for the drill run. Lands it straight onto Elizabeth. She manages to endure it because of her typing. But... Unfortunately, I go for the Earthquake, so I have no choice. I'm going for the Sacrificial Play here. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. It was for the greater good as I take out the Excadrill. That's going to be the end of Elizabeth as she goes down to the Earthquake damage. But my super effective attack on the Excadrill takes it down. So for the price of one, I've gotten rid of two of my opponent's Pokemon. 
Now out comes the Primal Groudon once again. Now as well, Impy's gonna bring out Dusk. Because he's got plans for this Pokemon. I've got plans for my team as the Desolate Land comes at, back out onto the field. Now, obviously, I'm going to reveal that I am, in fact, a Mega Absol, so Dusk is Mega Evolving right now. Woo! Here we go. The party is just getting started. And Impy is going to go for his Detect, because you know why? I've done the speed test, and I've seen the attack. So here's what's going to happen. He's going to go for the Wide Guard, going to protect himself. I'm going to go for the Dragon Claw, because I'm not going to buy any of his attacks. I'm not going to buy his shenanigans. That's going to be the end of the Manti. And now Bulldoze comes out. It's not going to connect onto Dusk, but that's all right. She's managed to hang on, protect herself. Cynthia is still rocking those defenses, loses a ton of her speed because of that Bulldoze, but she's still on the field, and that is all that matters. Now out comes the Darmanitan. Groudon is going to go for the Protect. Impy is, you know, predicting some of these shenanigans. I'm going to go for the Zen Head, but I wasn't going to get into the Primal Groudon because of the Protect. Flare Blitz comes out. Going to connect straight onto Cynthia, I think. Yep. Going to connect onto Cynthia. She goes down like a sack of rocks because of all that damage. But she's going to leave a nice parting gift in the turn of the Rough Skin. So Diamond 10 is going to take some recoil damage. That's going to be the enemy. Now out comes my Reshiram. My pride and joy. And I'm going to radiate that blazing aura. Now here comes where Impy shenanigans begin. I'm going to go for the dust for the Zen headbutt into the Darmanitan. That's going to deal some nice damage. Darmanitan goes for a rock slide into both my Pokemon. Going to hit me like a truck. Ow, that hurt. Dusk is really weak. My Reshiram is also weak, but I'm faster than his Primal Groudon. And thanks to all that damage, he cannot withstand my Earth Power. Woo! So that's the end of the Primal Groudon. Impy demonstrates why his Reshiram fears no Primal Groudon. He just needs a little bit of help. And now out comes Blastcephalon. So Blastcephalon is now the last Pokemon on the field. Heat Wave comes out, going to connect onto both of my Pokemon. My Reshiram's going to quad resist that as well as the Assault Rest. But Dusk is unable to resist it. That's going to give the Blastcephalon a nice speed or beast boost. Flare Blitz comes out from the Darmanitan. I can't. I may quad resist fire attacks, but I cannot resist that much firepower coming from a physical attack. And my Reshiram goes down. But the Darmanitan is slowly weakening itself. Now out comes Azula, as well as my last Pokemon, and it's going to be Jenna. So I've got two Pokemon left, and it's two Pokemon for Ken's. Things are really coming down to the wire. Impy is going to go for some shenanigans here. Darmanitan's going to go for the double protect. I think I predicted this here. But I don't know what's going to happen. I went for the Accelerock into the Blast Cephalon. And it's going to not do anything. Drain Punch as well comes out. Going to connect onto Darmanitan's Protect. But it's not going to do anything. So now it's time for the Accelerock. Once again, going to connect onto the Blast Cephalon. I needed Blast Cephalon to go down. Azula can take on the Darmanitan. And Darmanic and I could have taken on the Darmanitan with either Jenna or Azula. But I needed the Blast Cephalon gone. And I'm faster than the Darmanitan. Azula goes for the Drain Punch. That's the end of the battle. GG Chickens. Woo! My goodness, tacticians. That was one of my most intense battles on Friday Night Throwdown. Let me tell you, kitties. Kens is a lot tougher than he, you know, looked in this battle. But this is what happens when Impy actually tries to take his opponent seriously. He really thinks really tries to plan his moves out instead of just YOLO swaggering with six ponytails all using horn drop. But then I guess technicians, I'll see you all on Friday night uh, Friday night throwdown later tonight and I'll see you all in the next battle video. Bye bye I'm taking in what I can get but I can't find the answers yet head in the water slow my mind I hold my breath until I'm found